ஹாய் ஹலோ வணக்கம் அண்ட் வெல்கம் பேக் டு எட் அனதர் எபிசோட் ஆன் யார் அண்ட் ஆர் ஃபேவரட் லிட்டில் ஸ்லா யூடியூப் சேனல் ஸோ டுடே இன் திஸ் வீடியோ விங் டு சி த நெக்ஸ்ட் வீடியோ ஆன் ஹவு டு எஃபெக்டிவ்லி யூஸ் ஏஐ இன் பர்ஃபார்மன்ஸ் டெஸ்டிங் ஸோ தெர் ஆர் லைக் செவ்ரல் வேஸ் வி விச் வி ஹவ் டிஸ்கஸ்ட் அண்ட் வி ஹவ் டிஸ்கஸ் வாட் ஆர் ஆல் த ரிஸ்க்ஸ் வி ஹேவ் வாட் ஆர் ஆல் த ஆப்பர்ச்சுனிட்டிஸ் வி ஹேவ் அண்ட் வாட் ஆர் ஆல் த பாசிபிலிட்டிஸ் வி ஹேவ் வென் யூசிங் ஜெனரேட்டிவ் ஏஐ in performance testing uh, so before we move to this uh, video um, let me explain you few things so uh, i in fact have told this several times which is um, we are not going to lose our job to ai but instead we are going to lose our job to someone who knows ai better than us so it's always uh, i always suggest you to learn more of the ai and to effectively use it but again there are some risks as well which i will tell you at the end of this video so now uh, in this video we're going to see how to create your first jmeter script using ai so there are like several tools but again the prompts are going to be common so it can be your chat gpt it can be a copilot it can be a G- google gemini but the point here is um, tools like copilot Uh, are integrated into your organization because they comes with the microsoft tools and licenses so always uh, please make sure that you are not copy pasting your entire code your data into some third party um, ai please don't trust anybody who comes with that label as ai because they can be someone who can steal your data so please use uh, ai generative ai responsibly and please use it very carefully because they could even Uh, bring harm to your job so always make sure that you are um, using it safely and securely so now with no further delays let's go to the uh, video where we are going to create our first uh, jmeter script using copilot i mean for this example i'm using you are going to use copilot the generative ai to create your first script so with no further delay let's go to the video Hi welcome back to our video so hope you are all eagerly waiting to watch how are we going to use gen ai the generative ai the copilot uh, for this video uh, as an example as an uh, ai tool to generate our first script the jmeter script so let me uh, open my copilot ai and i have a prompt here so let me quickly uh, type it where's the prompt here okay i just have it here let me uh, type my prompt just a moment guys okay so my prompt is going to be uh, i have to write a jmeter script for the following api call and you have to define what type of request is that is that going to be get request or a post request in our scenario it's going to be a get request and the request is here so this is the get request and i have to run this with a 10 user load test so i'm adding a an adder 10 user load with 30 seconds of ramp up time so we all know what a ramp up time is and i want it to be like running for 30 minutes 30 minutes of duration for this example and so now i have now i have set up my script i have set up my thread group i have set up the ramp up the uh, the duration of the test but now to view the results and for debugging i need a view results tree we all know a listener which we use to watch the results to debug it and a summary report listener so we all know why we use a summary report listener to uh, check the response time right so to check the response time so are we ready so when i click on enter Yep so here is a jmeter test plan in the xml format yeah we all know again um, uh, jmeter can be easily editable using your xml format as well and if you have an xml you can open it through your jmx i mean it's a kind of a platform independent uh, it's, it's so so quite useful and yeah we have got 10 concurrent users that is a kind of ramp up time 30 minutes of test duration and we have got a view results sheet for debugging and a summary report uh, listener for the response time analysis and here i have got my uh, Uh, script which has uh, encoding of utf8 and uh, here i have used jmeter 5.4.1 so let me uh, make it like uh, migrate the script to 5.6.3 versions in fact if you want if we even we can make the change but anyways let's let's use ai for that 
So yeah, here is the updated version. So here, uh, if you can see, we have got the JMeter version, which is 5.6.3. So this is to make sure because I, in my JMeter, I'm using 5.6.3 version. So it's always good to use the same version. So I'm using the latest version, which is 5.6.3. And I'm going to use the same um, version to make sure that I don't get any issues. And let me copy this and going back to my notepad. Firstly, let, we will have to save this file. Uh, let me save this file here all types and api get request 05.jmx so once you save it automatically if it is in a proper manner if it's a proper format so you get to see this difference as a jmx file and notepad plus plus helps you a lot so now let's go back to jmeter and so it it just really took like uh, i would say like less than a minute or so to create your first jmeter script using ai yeah so now let's open the script, the fifth one. Yeah, so with no errors we have got, so if you see here, we've got the number of errors, threads as 10, the ramp up period is 30, the duration is going to be like 1,800 seconds, which is like for 30 minutes. And this is this is the one, uh, which is your um, test plan. And then we have got the get request. So with the protocol HTTPS and the server name, which I've gave them and the path, and here's the HTTP request. And now we have got the view results tree and the summary report. So now what I'm going to do is I'm not going to run this for like 1,800 seconds. Instead, I'm going to just do a quick validation. And for that, I'm going to just change it uh, to like five iteration, like one iteration maybe. And let me save it, clear everything, go to view results tree, run it, and going to the response data. Yeah. So here I have got my data my uh, response which is the expected response which i wanted to get because for this request for this url and for this get request i want to have this as my response so yep as expected it is working really 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 good we're going to uh, see more and more uh, of examples like how how can we use uh, uh, the parameterization correlation because they are the the, the top most uh, things which takes you a lot of time right and in fact analysis as well we're going to see that as that very soon and for now yes so we have created our very first script with less than a minute i mean like less than 30 seconds i would say but all it takes the time is for the prompting and to make uh, uh, improvements to your script, like in terms of uh, uh, changing it to a proper version, that the correct required version. So that's what we have did. But apart from that, if you are able to create, but just imagine if you want to create the same script uh, using JMeter, you just want to go to your browser, you want to uh, create um, the recording template, you have to open the recording template, and then you have to uh, configure your HTTPS test script proxy recorder, you have to uh, set up your proxy, you have to open your file browser, your, um, what to say, your, uh, uh, you have to set up the proxy and then you have to record all this. So just imagine how much time at least it will take a minimum of like 30 minutes to one hour to create one single script for recording your one script. I mean, the first API call or just a script. And here we just did that in a fraction of a second. So always I tell, I'm tell, i telling you, please make sure like you are learning the, uh, the, the fundamentals of the basics and make sure you're using it effectively in your project as well. So again, uh, the point which I want to tell at the end of the video is um, recently some of our subscribers have got to uh, attend some interviews and they were asked to uh, uh, give some coding, um, got some scripting uh, examples and they really struggled a lot. So I always would say, yes, once you join your upper job, or once you join your organization, you can make use of your um, uh, chat GPT or any, any AI tool effectively. But please make sure that at least learn the basics, like understand the basics, like how does it work, how to use it effectively. Because for the interview, they won't allow you to use chat GPT. So please make sure you learn the basics, like how does it come, how does it work, what a post process, what a pre process is, what a config element is, and how can you use, run your, your uh, Groovy script. So please learn those things like that. They'll really, really help you, help you um, to, uh, crack your interviews yes that's very important right so to get a good job to get a good increment to get a get, get into your uh, uh, dream company you have to crack your interviews and for that use your use the ai to learn the basics to learn the fundamentals so they will definitely help you with that i don't want to bore you more and with that i come to the end of this video so for more videos on ai and ai related stuffs in uh, how to implement the performance testing please do uh, subscribe to our channel and watch our videos uh, thank you so much for watching this video and until i see you all in our next video it's bye bye from us and your favorite little slaw youtube channel take care and bye bye